Today, I will introduce Rui Jurd Superdia, Rudius Greyrath's companion in the first season of Jobless Reincarnation. He is a dependable older brother figure to Rudius and Eris. It is no exaggeration to say that they were able to survive the perilous journey from the demon continent to the central continent because Rui Jurd was with them. In this video, we will introduce Rui Jurd's contributions to the story, his characteristics, his secrets to strength, and his marriage. I will also discuss what happened between Rui Jurd and Badigadi, so please enjoy the video until the end. Characteristics of Rui Jurd Rui Jurd Superdia is a member of the Superd tribe with a distinctive atmosphere emanating from his tough and imposing body. He is a Superd warrior whom Rudius and Eris first met when they were transported to the demon continent during the Fatoa teleport incident. The Superd tribe is a demon race with green hair and a red gem on their forehead that has the ability to search for surrounding mana like a radar. Additionally, Superd tribe members have high agility, making them adept at surprise attacks. Among the demon races, the Superd tribe has particularly strong combat abilities, and their group surprise attacks are a nightmare for their enemies. Superd tribe members have a lifespan of approximately 1,000 to 2,000 years. Ruijurd is 566 years old as of the year K417, so he could live a long life if nothing happens. The ability of the Superd tribe's forehead gem is well suited for telepathy of the Migurd tribe, and in the past, Superd warriors were sent to the Migurd tribe's village to fight in place of the Migurd tribe, which was weak in battle. Additionally, the Superd tribe is characterized by being born with a three pronged tail. This tail straightens and hardens at a certain point in time and it has the effect of becoming sharper the more it is used. Superd warriors originally used this spear as a weapon. However, by using the cursed spear given to them by the demon god Laplace, their honor was lost. Currently, the curse has faded, and there is no longer a risk of going berserk, but he has become a legendary race that is hated all over the world. When the team Dead End traveled from the demon continent to the central continent, Ruby Jurd was asked for an outrageous amount of money. The phrase, behave or the superd tribe will come and eat you, was also used by parents to discipline their children, not only on the demon continent, but also on the central continent. Rui Jurd served as the leader of the superd warriors and was the captain of the warriors' corps guard during the Laplace War. He is a man of few words and stubborn. He has the pride of a warrior who protects children and values his comrades, and he doesn't boast about his strength. On the contrary, he shows no mercy to villains who resort to dirty tactics, and he will not go easy on those who harm children in particular. When Rudius and Eris were transported to the demon continent during the Fatoa teleport incident, he unconditionally helped them, saying, I will definitely deliver you to your destination. If I leave you guys here, it will damage the pride of the Superd tribe. He had aimed to remove the Superd tribe's bad reputation even before meeting Rudius and the others, but his extreme actions of helping children and killing villains resulted in him being called Dead End and being feared and disliked. He has an awkward or rather too straightforward personality. Additionally, his actions have become excessive because he has been living since the war and spending time in the dangerous demon continent. Since being persuaded by Rudius, he has refrained from taking lives without question unless the opponent is extremely wicked, and Ruijurd now takes an attitude of discussing with his opponent. When he first met Rudius and Eris, he had hair, but he noticed that his green hair was causing fear among those around him, so he shaved it off. As a result, the curse faded considerably, and he was no longer frightened after hiding the gem on his forehead with a bandana. Ruijurd's past. In the past, the Superd tribe served the demon god Laplace, and Ruijurd served as their captain of the guard. At that time, it was the Laplace War, which was known as the most brutal battle among the wars between humans and demons that had occurred up to that point, in the war between the newest human tribe and demon tribe that took place 500 years ago. In the middle of such a war, the demon god Laplace bestowed a spear upon Ruijurd and the Superd tribe. The cursed spear, later known as the Devil's Spear, raised the user's physical abilities several times over and nullified the magic used by humans. It was said to bring heightened sensory perception and overwhelming omnipotence. Ruijurd forced the Superd tribe's warrior group, who were his subordinates as captain of the guard, to use the cursed spear, but the more they used it, the more it stained their souls black and eroded their minds. As a result, the Superd tribe became known as demons, and Ruijurd and his comrades, who had lost the ability to distinguish friend from foe, began to indiscriminately slaughter those around them. The cause of this was said to be that Laplace's intention was not to strengthen his army or reward his subordinates, but to impose his own curse on them. 
In fact, the demon god Laplace had been cursed, like Orsted, by those around him, but he passed on his curse to the Superd tribe, who had the same green hair color as him, through their hair color and tools. Of course, Ruijerd, who did not know this, was also manipulated by the magic of the spear and killed his parents, his wife, and his son. However, Ruijerd was able to regain his sanity when his son, who had been trained to become a Superd warrior, risked his life to break the cursed spear, but his son, who had stopped his father's rampage, died as a result. Having escaped from the curse and realizing everything, Ruijerd swore revenge against the demon god Laplace. The reason why Ruijerd is so blindly protective of children is because of his past involving his son. Furthermore, although Ruijerd was able to escape from the curse, his subordinates who also used the cursed spear were in a state of frenzy, and the impact of that time was so great that the Superd tribe was misunderstood as an evil and barbaric demon tribe and was hated and persecuted by both demons and humans all over the world. While it is understandable that Ruijerd sees Laplace as the enemy that must be defeated, knowing Laplace's past makes it difficult to say anything definitive. Battles against Laplace After regaining his sanity, Ruijerd went into hiding for several years, waiting for the opportunity to get revenge on the demon god Laplace. Finally, the time came when the heroes, who led the beast tribe that defected to the Millis Holy Knight Order and the human side, raided Laplace's main base. Later, along with the three heroes known as the demon god killers, North God Kalman, Dragon God Urupen, and Armored Dragon King Perugius, Ruijerd interfered in the battle against the demon god Laplace. When Laplace became a demon god, it became invulnerable and could not be defeated except by a divine sword. However, the Superd tribe, namely Ruijerd, could detect its weakness with a third eye. In other words, Ruijerd was a Laplace killer. Thus, along with the three demon god killers, Ruijerd defeated Laplace and took revenge. However, defeating Laplace did not reset everything. After the war, the Superd tribe killed indiscriminately, resulting in them becoming a target of fear and disgust worldwide as the terrible demon race, and they were subsequently persecuted. Survivors scattered and their whereabouts became unknown. While thinking that everything was Laplace's fault, Ruijerd thought, but the Superd tribe's bad reputation is also my responsibility, and I want to get rid of that reputation even if I'm the last one left. However, his thoughts were not rewarded, and he eventually became known as the most dangerous being among the Superd tribe, called Dead End. If you meet, you die. In fact, there weren't many people who knew Ruijerd's real name at that time. Ruijerd's past is a regrettable and unbearable past in which all kinds of emotions such as regret, anger, and helplessness swirl. It was good that he could meet Rudius and Eris in the main story. Ruijerd's Strength at the time of his first appearance, Ruijerd was over 500 years old, so his combat experience was naturally extensive. His combat ability is said to be of Emperor class because he can fight on par with Emperor class powerhouses. He is truly a seasoned warrior. He uses the gemstone on his forehead to search for enemies and is skilled in fighting against large groups of enemies or in challenging terrains. During the Laplace War, he managed to escape from a siege of 1,000 people despite being heavily injured. The Demon Continent is home to incredibly powerful monsters, even for S-Class adventurers. But Rudius and Eris were able to safely cross it thanks in large part to Ruijerd's combat abilities. He was never in a disadvantageous situation until he encountered Orsted, which shows how strong he is. He is also a decent leader and taught Eris how to use the fighting style of the Demon Race to guide her opponent's movements with her eyes. However, his teaching style was to show the weaknesses of training partners in actual combat and try to make them understand without using words, which made his compatibility with Rudius poor. Although he has no flashy techniques or weapons, Ruijerd's strength lies in his solid and grounded skills. About Dead End Ruijerd vowed to restore the honor of the Superd tribe throughout his lifetime. What Ruijerd did to clear the Superd tribe's name was to help children and eliminate villains. However, he ended up arousing fear in the surroundings and eventually gained the nickname Dead End, a demon that only targets children. This caused an increase in fear of the Superd tribe. However, after meeting with Rudius and helping him, Dead End gained another meaning. An adventurer party named Dead End was formed by Rudius, Ruijerd, and Eris, who entered the city of Rikarisu to restore the honor of the Superd tribe. They rose from F rank to A rank in just one year, breaking the record for speed. When helping people, Ruijerd introduced himself as Ruijerd of Dead End to increase his reputation, and when he failed, he introduced himself as Rudius to transfer the hate to Rudius. In the story, there were no significant results, but when they arrived in the Fitoa region, the three of them separated and Dead End disbanded. But it was at least the first step in clearing the Superd tribe's name. 
Rui Jerd also had a heartwarming experience working with Rudius and Eris, which may have helped him find salvation. Reunion with Rudius Rudius first met Rui Jerd during the teleport incident in the Fitoa region. Rudius and Eris were sent to the Demon Continent, which is located far east from the central continent where the Asura Kingdom was located. Rui Jerd was the one who helped them. As a superb, I will never leave you two here. I will escort you to your homeland, Rui Jerd promised. Thus, he became their escort, and they headed towards the Fitoa region. And so, the journey of the three began. Rui Jerd shared their meals, protected them, acted as a father figure, and sometimes even an older brother. After a long journey, they finally arrived at the Fitoa region, where Rui Jerd bid them farewell. Rui Jerd thanked Rudius and began her own journey to find the surviving Superds on the central continent. During her travels, Rui Jerd happened to save Norn in the city of Eastport. This led to Rudius escorting Norn and Aisha to Sharia, where he finally reunited with Rui Jerd after three years. However, the next day, Rui Jerd had to leave again. At this time, Rui Jerd learned that Rudius had married Sylphie, not Eris, which was a bit of a shock for him. But it was understandable as Rudius still had misunderstandings about Eris at that time. Relationship with Badigadi Warning, this section contains spoilers. If you want to avoid them, please stop the video now. Badigadi and Rui Jerd exuded a tense atmosphere in front of Grey Rat's house in the city of Sharia. It seems that they had a long-standing grudge as they both lived during the Laplace War. Rudius suspected that the Superd tribe, who held Laplace's spear, may have attacked the Biddy faction's camp. However, their true relationship was revealed much later, and it seems that Hitogami played a significant role here. After parting ways with Rudius, Rui Jerd became distant again. In the meantime, Rudius participated in the Zenith rescue operation and was forced to fight against Orsted again under Hitogami's instructions. On the other hand, Rui Jerd was guided by the demon lord Badigadi to the Superd tribe's village in the Behaviral Kingdom and reunited with his compatriots. Rudius reunited with Rui Jerd in that Superd tribe's village, and he cried nostalgically upon witnessing the fact that they could live together in the village for the three years they traveled together. However, there was an unexplained epidemic spreading in the village, and they had to deal with it on top of their joyous reunion. Moreover, it was revealed that Hitogami and his apostles, as well as the Nether King Vita, were behind the Superd tribe's epidemic commotion. The Nether King Vita, who controlled the epidemic, was defeated by Rudius's Bone Ring of Laxus, leading to the progression of the disease and putting the entire village in danger. However, Cliff's statement, there's nothing a genius can't do, led to the successful resolution of the epidemic that had been afflicting the Superd tribe. Finally, Rui Jerd became Rudius's ally again to defeat Hitogami. Rui Jerd and Norn. During the Laplace War, Rui Jerd was married. However, after the war, he lived to clear the Superd tribe's name and had zero interest in women. Considering Rui Jerd's past, it's understandable that he couldn't think of getting married. However, Rui Jerd ultimately marries Norn. Let's take a look at how they came to be. Rui Jerd and Norn met when Norn was five years old. The place was the capital of the holy country of Milis, Milition. Paul was also there at that time, but it was Rui Jerd who helped Norn when she almost fell over. Although their first encounter was brief, they met again in the town of Eastport. During the journey where Rui Jerd was assigned to be Norn's bodyguard, Norn began to have feelings for him. Many years later, due to an epidemic in the Superd tribe's village, Norn, who had been devotedly nursing patients, and Rui Jerd became closer. Why didn't you tell me that Rui Jerd's son was in such a situation, big brother? I owe a lot to Rui Jerd's son too, Norn asked Rudius while crying. Rui Jerd was attracted to Norn's dedication which became the deciding factor for his affection. Although they had become mutually in love, they were both extremely shy, and time passed without either knowing the other's feelings. Rui Jerd's marriage and children. Orsted suggested marrying Rui Jerd and Norn. Orsted, who had been looping the world line without Rudius for thousands of years, had an experience of being taken care of by Rui Jerd and Norn's child, Luicelia, in the past. For Luicelia's sake, Orsted consulted Rudius about the marriage proposal between Norn and Rui Jerd. Ironically, the possibility of them getting married was low because they were both too shy. Not knowing this, Rudius casually mentioned the marriage proposal to Norn, who eagerly accepted it. When Rudius asked Rui Jerd about his feelings, Rui Jerd admitted that he was in love with Norn, who had taken care of him devotedly. With Rudius's help, the marriage proposal proceeded smoothly, and they had their wedding ceremony in the Superd village. In another world line, Rui Jerd and Norn had a daughter, Luicelia Superdia, who would later fight against the demon god Laplace and fulfill her father's wishes. 
In the world line where Rudius did not exist, the Superd tribe had become extinct due to a plague, and Ruijird had died of illness. However, in the Mushoku Tensei main story where Rudius exists, the Superd tribe has survived, and Ruijird is still alive. Orsted said that Louis Celia would not have to bear the burden anymore. The Death of Ruijird There is no depiction of Ruijird's death in Mushoku Tensei, and he survives until the end of the story. The lifespan of the Superd race is about 1,000 to 2,000 years, according to the author, and since Ruijird is only around 500 years old, he still has a long way to go. In the world without Rudius, the epidemic that spread in the Superd village was not resolved, and the tribe, including Ruijird, collapsed. In the main story where Rudius was present, such a fate was overcome. However, if we consider the possibility of Ruijird's death, it may occur during the battle against the demon god Laplace in the future. In the world 80 years later, Laplace, who will revive and cause another war, is being targeted by Ruijird and his companions. While it cannot be helped, considering that Laplace has lost his memory, there is also room for sympathy. Regarding Ruijird's death, I feel that he will overcome any dangerous situation until he sees off the elderly Norn. How was it? Ruijird is a character who has captivated many fans among Jobless Reincarnation fans. His clumsy but gentle character is just so attractive. In the end, he loves Norn and is loved by her, and they lived happily ever after. So, it is good that his hard work paid off. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching until the end.